me confident I could love you for a long time, baby Hello my darlings, welcome back to another video. It's lovely to see you all. I hope you're all okay. If you're new here, my name's Max. Welcome to my channel. I'm so glad that you found me. Um, yeah, if you like shopping hauls, fashion, beauty, lifestyle, vlogs, positive vibes, fun, friendly uh, and a lovely safe place to be to just chill out then please consider subscribing down below if you haven't already it would really mean the world to me to have you join my little youtube channel and to all of you who keep returning to watch me thank you so so much so in today's video it's going to be a bit of a vlog i'm just i'm just winging it today <laughs> um i am about to pop down the town the weather oh my god has been really bad all across the UK hasn't it um, I know that um, some of you have had like real bad weather one of my subscribers from Ireland had a power cut 15 hours we normally get power cuts up here but we haven't had one thankfully um, so yeah 15 hours is a long time isn't it to be without your power you really have to be prepared in situations like that but today it's Wednesday it's stopped raining it's still windy but I thought I need to pop out just for some bread and milk and eggs, just essentials. So I'm popping to Aldi just to get a few bits and pieces that I need. So, yeah, I thought that I would take you along with me for a couple of days on my, you know, daily life. So today I'm going to go to Aldi and then when we come back... um. I'm gonna I've got a load of washing and stuff to put away so we'll do that and I think I'm gonna make a start on uh, decluttering my wardrobe and also um, the stuff that uh, that I was gonna send to the charity shop and you guys I'll put it up for you guys any of you guys who wanted it I'm gonna get all that out and I'm gonna go through who wanted it and I'm gonna get it packaged up uh, over the next couple of days and I'm going to get that sent out to you because you know I promised that I would do it so I really need to get that done as well so yeah that's the plan so far I've got to dye my hair um, there's a guy coming in the morning Leslie's army jeep thing is going in to have a new engine and stuff so there's a guy coming in the morning at 8 o'clock to pick that up and trailer it up to wherever it's got to go so Leslie's going to be busy getting that pulled out ready to go on the trailer in the morning so yeah we've got a few little bits and pieces between us to do today so yeah whatever I do I'll take you along with me <laughs> okay so what I'm gonna do now I am gonna get down to Aldi if I get anything interesting I will show you uh, of course um, but yeah I'll see you in a little while when I get back from Aldi I'm back from Aldi, pop to Morrison's and I pop to Tesco's as well for a few little bits. So I'll show you what I got. Um, right, let's start with Aldi. Oh. Past couple of days I've been okay with my back because basically I've, I've done bugger all. But today I've been out walking about. Oh my god, I'm in agony again. I've just had to come in and take some painkillers. Um, but uh, I think it was Poppy, one of my subscribers, the doctor found me and has organised an x-ray for me and was discussing like my bloods and that. And she said the only thing that showed up in my bloods was that I was low on B12 and I'm sure she said magnesium and Poppy messaged me commented on the video and said that um she took some magnesium for her joint pain and it really helped so i've picked up some and the doctor said to take some multivitamins but they hadn't got any any multivitamins in um tesco nor in aldi uh so i picked up this joint care one i'll show it yeah but yeah um the doctor advised me to take some vitamins, so when I go to either B&M or Arm Bargains, they do them in there, don't they? I'll see whether I can pick some up there, but for now, I've bought the ones with magnesium and zinc and something else in, so yeah. 
Anyway, I'll do. I've got some of the, let me just put the lights on. Is that a bit better? Yeah, I have got my ring light, but it's, uh, it's half past three, so yeah, the sun's getting ready to go down, so sorry about the lighting. Yeah, uh, I bought some of these battered fish fillets, and I think these were uh, £2.45. I have got my, um, what you call it here somewhere. My receipt, here it is. Oh, let me get my glasses. Got the glasses. <laughs> right, the fish fillets were uh, battered fish fillets. £2.35 and they are really nice, especially with our made chips and mushy pays. <laughs> Got two boxes of the spring rolls. Me and Les love these and they haven't had them in for a while. Um, Love them for supper, so and then really quick and easy in the air fryer. I think they take about 12 minutes in the air fryer or something like that. So I've got chicken and vegetable and vegetable, and they was one ninety nine each pack. Really like those. Got some of this flora buttery. I picked up three of these because it was on offer. So I've got three to put in the fridge for stock. It's really nice. It's our new favourite. Uh, flora butter, one eighty nine. Yeah, so I've got three of those. Some spring onions. They were fifty five pence. Some oranges. They were in the super six, and they were sixty nine pence. Button mushrooms. I haven't got loads because I didn't need a lot. It's just a top up really. Ninety five pence for the mushrooms. And a bag of Mary's Piper potatoes, and they were one pound thirty nine for the Mary's Piper, so not too bad for the potatoes. Right, next. This one's heavy. I've got a couple of vegetable oils to put in stock because I cleaned my deep fat fryer the other day. Is it there? I cleaned it the other day. I've had a little shuffle around in the kitchen because I've had to make room for the two air fryers. I hate that job, cleaning the deep fat fryer, but you know what? There's nothing better than uh, deep fried almond chips. So yeah, I, I use the two oils that I've got in stock, so I've replaced those. And the cooking oil was £1.85. I got two tins of stewed steak because I used two the other day to make a stew when the kids come down. That was on offer for one ninety nine. Mayonnaise, 95 pence. Then I got this, um, I've got a few cleaning products to, just to stock up because I'm trying to use everything up. So I needed a few cleaning products and this is the Powerforce Fresh Linen Disinfectant and it says that it kills 99.9% .9 of viruses and bacteria and that was um, 79 pence and then I also got the Powerforce Daily Shower Cleaner. I normally get the one from Tesco's but I thought I'd give that one a try because I hadn't seen it before. And that was 85 pence for the same as Tesco. Some washing up liquid just to put in stock. Uh, and that was 79 pence. A bottle of milk. The milk. How much is milk these days? Whole milk, £1.55, and this is the equivalent to Cravendale, the filtered one. It lasts ages. I mean, the date on that is the 19th of February, so, yeah, I always get the filtered one. And then they've got this Comfort, and it's Apple Blossom, 55 washes. This was on offer for £2.49, so, yeah, I got one of those. It smells so nice. I'll just pop that down there by the washing machine. 
that's that bad. I think that was everything from Aldo. Oh no, there was, no, it wasn't. Toilet roll was on offer, so I've got one of those. The toilet roll was $2.99 instead of $3.79 or $3.49. It normally is something like that. Then I've got another kitchen roll because this was on offer as well. I love this one. Can't live without kitchen roll. $1.99 instead of £2 something. I got six, uh, no I didn't, I got 12 eggs <laughs> and the eggs were £2.69 for 12 large eggs. Two white bread, medium sliced and that is 75 pence. And then oh, the last thing that I got from Aldi was this, and it's um, a bathroom set. It's ceramic, it's black, and this was $6.99, I think. Let's fill up the caravan. Yeah, $6.99. So a new bathroom set for up the caravan. That's everything that I got from Aldi. Then I popped into Tesco's and I got 24 cans of zero sugar coke. I always pick these up when they're on offer and they were on offer for £7 for 24 cans. I could take my glasses off now. Uh, I got some toothpaste, one for up the caravan and one for in my en suite. £1.50 for the Colgate, so I picked up two of those. I also got this for up the caravan, it's a little succulent and this was reduced to £2 so I thought that would look nice up the caravan as well I'll just pop that there because they've got to go in a separate bag and then this is the vitamins that I picked up it's the Osteo Care Original and there's calcium, magnesium, vitamin D and zinc and it says that it's uh, good for your bones so it's showing like there, your bones uh, your back bones basically so yeah I'm going to start taking these I'll take one of those in a minute when I've finished showing you what I got and they were I think there was 4 99 for those and I've also got these out to um, I've started taking these I have got a few multivitamins in there so I've been, I started taking them yesterday. I've got some collagen, so I'm taking those. And I've got uh, some hair, skin and nails. I've got one strip left in there, the Tesco one. And then I've got this one as well, per Perfectil uh, Hair, Skin and Nails. And I think that was in one of my beauty boxes. So, yeah, start getting the vitamins down me. Right, what else did I get from Tesco? I bought some storage for my fridge of course it needs cleaning and I want to get it organised so I bought two of these these were £2.50 each and it shows you there that like you can store sauces and jars in those so I got two of those for £2.50 each then I got one of these and it shows you for cans of pop so I thought I could you know fill um, that up with some cans of pop so they're nice and cold and that was £2.50 and then I got two of these for in my veg you know the pull out part for your veg instead of leaving everything in the bags and that I'm going to put onions in one and then in the other I'll, I'll put any other veg that I've got like uh, carrots, parsnips stuff like that so I bought two of those and then the bottom one I always keep for my potatoes so yeah I got two of those they was four pounds each and then I didn't get these today I got these the other day but they was in my back of my car two of these and these are 80 litre oh ow. 80 litres tubs and then I've got the lids as well the lids are here with the lids and they was on offer on the club card for £6.75 because I've still got the 10 foot tray in the living room to get down and I've run out of storage boxes so I bought two more so all that stuff that's on there will go into them and then it can go up the loft out the way. That's everything that I got from Tesco's and then I've got just a couple of bits 
what I went into Morrison's for was the coffee whitener, one ninety nine. I do like the one from Home Bargains, but you know, I have to travel for nearly an hour to get to Home Bargains, so I just picked up three of these because I'm on the last one. One ninety nine coffee whitener. It's not coffee mate, but it's as good. And then I got these, these was reduced, these wraps. I thought me and Les might have wraps for our tea tonight for a change. I've got some stacked salad that needs using and some chicken. So yeah, we're gonna, I'm going to do some chicken wraps. And they was reduced to 64 pence from £1.59. And then the last thing in this little grocery haul was some egg custards, two packs for £1.50. So that is everything that I bought today while I was out. I don't need to go anywhere now for the foreseeable <laughs> until we run out of bread or whatever. So I'm going to put this away. I am going to take my vitamins. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be doing anything else today apart from having something to eat. And yeah, I need to sit down. And relax my back a little bit so yeah I'll, uh, I'll see you tomorrow probably and we'll do some organizing I might even do the fridge clean the fridge and put this organization in get rid of anything that's out of date in there that that kind of thing and yeah just you know pottering we'll potter together tomorrow so yeah I'll see you later good afternoon <laughs> the next day it's the afternoon it's quite late in the afternoon actually it's ten past three I was up at half past seven this morning because this bloke was coming to fetch um, Leslie's army jeep to take off on the back of his truck to wherever he's got to take it 12 o'clock he turned up so I sat about all morning wasting away underneath my blanket <laughs> so once he'd been I've dyed my hair had a shower and now what I'm going to do, I've had a little bit of breakfast, lunch kind of thing, brunch. What I'm going to do now is sort all this washing out and there's the bag and a basket on the floor. I'm going to sort it into piles. But then what I'm going to do, I am going to go through my stuff in my walk-in wardrobe. And anything that needs to go, is I'm going to be ruthless it's coming out because some stuff I can take up to the boat yard. So I have got this that I had from Timo. I've got four of these, but I'm going to fill one of these with some stuff to take up the boat yard. In my makeup room, I've got some bags with stuff in already. So what I might do is just transfer it into here. So then I'll see what I've got to take. I mean, there's a couple of pair of old, um, like, Primark or boots and, you know, stuff like that that I can take up there and make use of up um, at the caravan at the boat yard. So, yeah, that's the plan of action at the moment. Uh, I'm going to have a couple of hours at doing this, see how far I get. And, um, yeah, I'll probably end the vlog once I've done a little bit in here. And I think... I'm going to do us uh, a fancy fish, almond chips and mushy pies for tea tonight. <laughs> I look ever so pale. Oh, God. Need an holiday. Um, we are in the process of booking, actually, our family holiday. I think we're going the end of April, beginning of May. So, yeah, get some sun on my bones. I really need it. I love the winter and the autumn and all the cosiness, but I'm so ready for some sunshine now, really am. So I can get out in the garden. I was watching some of my old videos this morning, you know, from last year in the garden and then I was like, oh, I desperately want to get out there and get some things done. So anyway, yeah, I'm just going to sort all this into piles and then we'll start on the walking wardrobe, OK? I'm going to leave the stuff in the basket for the time being. So I've just, like... Put it into piles across that side of the bed. That's a towel. Um, and then what I'm going to do is start to bring some stuff out a bit at a time and we'll go through it and see what I'm keeping and what's going, okay? Okay. Right, I'm going to start with 
this pile here. Now, this is what happens. You buy stuff, you put it away, and you forget that you've got it. This is a brand new, like, lounge kind of tracksuit that I bought from uh, Pep & Co. I've never had it on my back. I've never had it on my back. Look, it's still got the tags on. It was a Pep & Co range. So, we're definitely keeping that. That's definitely a keep, because as I say, I haven't even worn it yet. But I am going to wear it. That would look really nice with my new Uggs, that will. So, yeah, that's a keep. Little all-in-one, again, brand new. Tags on it, have I worn it. But that's ideal for spring with a shacket over the top and a pair of chunky trainers. So that's a keep as well. Right. Pleather trousers. I've got one two, three, four, five, five pairs, and there's a new pair over there that I bought from Timo, the, um, the flared ones. Now, Let's have a look at these, see what's what. Now I like these ones because they're like jean style with the silver detail on and the silver on the pockets. But what I am going to try and do is find a space in a drawer for these so they're not taking up the space in the wardrobe because they fold up to practically nothing and I am going to sort my jeans out so yeah keeping that pair this is a sparkly pair which I keep for if I'm you know if we go out anywhere of an evening which is very rare but we do sometimes and yeah these are sparkly I don't know whether it's going to pick up on the camera but they've got like silver flecks going all the way through so they are definitely a keep and then there's this pair with gold buttons on and a high waist. These was from Sheen. They can go. They've got like um, a cutout piece there. So uh, they can go. I'll probably put them up on my Vinted. So yeah, if there's anything decent, I'll pop it up on Vinted, which I will leave linked down below if there's anything that you're interested in. They're a size 16. And then there's these ones. These are like biker style with the ribbed detail there. I really like these ones. So I'm keeping them. And then there's this pair, which have got like this elastic detail on the side. These are really high-waisted and I do like them. So yeah, I'm keeping them. Right, dresses. Again, brand new with the tags on. Pretty little thing, denim dress. Never worry, size 14. It's going on vintage. I'm, I'm just going to be totally ruthless. Long black dress, very, very long. Um, that's going on vintage as well. This I had from, it is a beautiful dress, uh, TU, it says on there, just a plain, well it's not plain, it's got like, um, I don't know whether the camera's going to pick it up, yeah there look, it's got like a cable knit pattern all the way down the front, it is gorgeous and I think I've only ever wore that once as well. So, that's something else for Vinted, black dress. Boohoo navy blue dress with a wrap there and a tie belt, short sleeves, size 14. That can go, because I've never worn it, don't reach for it. Uh, then there's this one. This is AX Paris. This one's going, of course, I never wear it. I have worn it, but this one's going. Oh. 
it's a bodycon dress, it is beautiful. And it's really flattering on, but it, it's a bit too busy for me. So that one's going. Uh, this one can go, this little pink number here, but I'm keeping the big bow dress and this navy blue dress because I take those on holidays with me, so I'm keeping them. But this little pink number can go. It is gorgeous. It's so sparkly. It's like a rose goldy pink. It's beautiful. Originally from New Look and it's a size 14. So that can go on beauty. I'm going to get rid of this one. I've never worn it. Uh, brand new with the tags on. AX Paris again, New Look. Size. Bloody hell, my eyes. Is that a 14 or a 16? Size 14, that is. But it's gorgeous. It's nice and stretchy as well. It is beautiful. I think I had this off vintage again. It's got the, the boobs in it. It's gorgeous. So, yeah, anyway, that's going. Because I don't reach for it. Keeping these two because these are holiday dresses. That one with the sparkle and that one with all the sparkles as well. So I'm definitely keeping those. As I say, I'll take them on holiday with me. This little black skirt is going on vintage. It's just a plain, well no, it's not plain. It's got a little bit of ruching detail and a, a little split detail there, like a wrap detail. Um, that is, I think I had this off Sheen. Yeah, Sheen, large, so a size 12 to 14. So that's going. Uh, this can go, this is like a lounge dress as well with the tie detail and a hood. Um, this was from Sheen again. Size extra large, so that's a 16. It's in like this dark grey marl, and it was actually bought from the lounge dress section. So, yeah, but you can be worn as just a normal dress. And then the last one is this black dress. This is by Rochelle Humes. Uh, I've had this quite a while, and it is gorgeous, but you know, I've, it's got this gorgeous gold zip down the side look. It is a beautiful dress. It really is. But I've kept enough dresses, so I'm going to put this on vinted. I think I've only wore this once. I've had it a while, but I've only worn it once. It's Rochelle Humes, and it's a size 40. Is that a 14? Bloody hell, my eyes. No, it's a 16, I think. I think it says 16. Oh, God. I'm giving blind. I am. <laughs> Let me look under this light. Look how pale I look. Mind you, it's the bright lights as well. 16. It's a size 16. It's got this lovely neckline. Let me try and show it yeah, without the anger on. So you can see. It's got like this kind of neckline. And your arm goes through there. So that rouge bit sits on your neck there it's and this is like longer over this side it's, it's absolutely beautiful and it's it's really good quality and is it lined oh no it's not but it's a nice thick thick dress with that gorgeous gold zip detail down the side which actually works so you can have it as high or as done up as you wish. So yeah, that's going on um, vintage as well. Oh, that's another pile done. <laughs> Let's get another lot. Now, I do like this blouse. I really do. But I just don't reach for it. It's not something that I'm going to wear. So that's going to go. It's an F and F size. What size is that? Bloody hell, why do they make the writing so small? I think it's a 16, yeah, 16. 
and um, it's got this lovely frill detail on it down the arm and the cuffs are beautiful but I just do not reach for that so that can go minted as well that was from Shein I, I never ever reach for it but it might be all right for up the boat yard in the spring so you know with just a pair of jeans this dress can go never ever reach excuse me reach for it it's this beautiful glittery silver dress it is beautiful off the shoulder and then it's got like this wrap detail um again never worn i only tried on so yeah that can go on vinted my back's starting to hurt so this is a zara top with these puffy sleeves, uh, cold shoulder, puffy sleeves, ripped. Don't reach for it, that can go. This one can go on vintage. It's a off the shoulder black top with these lovely flouncy sleeves, originally from Primark, size 14. But obviously, it fits me if you know in the same kind of size as me 14 16 uh yeah so yep that's going right so i've got three black blazers here now how many black blazers does one person need so which one am i going to keep that one's got like three quarter rolled up sleeves that one's got two buttons and that one's got one button Let's try them on. This one was from Boohoo. That's quite a lightweight one, that is. That one can go. It's a size 14, a little bit oversized, uh, definitely fit a size 16, boohoo, blazer, that can go. All three pairs of these trousers are going, um, I think I have these from the charity shop, yeah, I paid £7 for them, um, for Una, cream trousers. Uh, wide leg size 14 original price of these was and then brand new still with the tags on the original price was 45 then 27 then 37 then 22 and then I got them for seven in the charity shop they are beautiful trousers but I'm not you know me I love I like the look of stuff and then I put it on and I'm like it's just not me it really is not me. Cream trousers and me just do not mix. So they will go on to Vinted for exactly the same price as I paid for um, £7. I would never make any money, you know, extra money out of selling my, my stuff. Everything's just going to go on either what I paid for it or cheaper. These are going on as well. Something else I liked the look of, but... I've never worn them. They've still got the tag on. They will go on for £7.16, size 16 from Primark, sage green trousers. I'm a jeans, legging, pleather, trousers kind of girl. I really am. And if I want anything dressy, I dress up my, my, um, my pleather trousers or I've got a couple of trouser suits. So, yeah, I am. I'm being ruthless. Need to put this back on, it's a bit nippy. And again, a purchase that I love the look of. I've got to stop doing it. Well, I am. This is the year I'm stopping doing this unless it's something that I know that I am going to wear and get some use out of. I am not buying them. Again, these are new with the tags on, 14, size 14, Primark, and I paid £7. So, beautiful fuchsia pink trousers. They're, they're stunning. 
let's do it. And I remember doing the try on and what put in a little black corset with these and they looked beautiful, but I will never, I'll never wear them. Even if I say, oh, I'll take them on holiday. I'll take them on holiday and I never wear, I've, I've took them with me and I still bought them back with the tags on, never wore them. So yeah, they're going. I'm gonna have to get in that five minutes and then I'll come back and get all this put away. And I think that's all I'll be doing for today because I've still got drawers, shoes, underwear, drawers to sort out, but I'll, I'll do that in um, the second part. But I'll be back in a bit just to finish off in here. I'm, I'm just gonna go and sit down for five minutes. Right, I've just had five minutes and took some tablets. So what I'm gonna do now, I'm just gonna get all this washing put away. I've put the vintage stuff in a bag. Um, yeah, and I'm gonna call it quits for today because my back's killing. So yeah, you've gotta know when to, know when to stop, haven't you? Right, so that is, um, the end of today's vlog i'm going to leave it here because it is now 10 past five so i said i was going to have a couple of hours and i think i've achieved quite a bit in a couple of hours there's stuff for the boat yard and vintage i've just popped over there there's a basket of stuff to go in the other room so we'll do that in the next vlog i will carry on probably to my, we might go to the boat yard depending on the weather if we don't get to the boat yard i am going to carry on and i'll carry on vlogging as well uh, getting organised and sorted and getting rid of as much as possible um, and yeah uh, I'm going to get the stuff that I promised to send out to you guys I'm going to get that out over the weekend and yeah uh, get it all ready to get posted off to you at the beginning of next week so that is my aim if we don't go up the boat yard if we do go up the boat yard then all that stuff that i've just said i'll do at the beginning of next week <laughs> and i'll vlog up the boat yard instead so we'll see I see how the weather is but it's raining and it's really windy at the moment i don't know what the weather forecast is i haven't had a look so I am now going to go and have a cup of coffee, I'm going to chill for half an hour and then I'm going to do us some dinner, wash up and just rest for the rest of the evening. So my darlings, I do hope that you've enjoyed this vlog, if you did please don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also subscribe down below if you haven't already it would be great to have you join my little youtube family uh, as i said at the beginning of the vlog if you like hauls fashion beauty vlogs travel a, a bit of everything cooking makeup cleaning uh, lifestyle in general and you like uh, positive fun safe vibes then this is definitely the place for you so yeah please subscribe if you haven't already and all you guys who keep on watching me i love you guys so much um i'll let you know i'll put on a community post and i'll also post on my instagram when i start putting the stuff on vintage if any of you are interested i'll leave my vintage um page down in the description box as well as my instagram if you want to come and follow me over there and my tiktok and yeah i think that's about everything so i will see you all in the next video thank you for spending some time with me today i really do appreciate it and i'll see you in the next one i love you guys loads enjoy your weekend Ta -da,